Welcome to my channel. My name is Chef Din and with over 40 years experience as a master chef, I'm going to teach you how to prepare your ingredients, mix your spices and then cook your dish. So let's not waste any more time and let's cook. Hi and welcome everyone. I'm Chef Din and today I'm going to cook one of my favourite uh, dishes and that's mutton curry. I've got some lovely mutton here as you can see. I'm going to use six different spices, green chilies, a tomato, garlic and ginger, coriander and onions. We have cloves here, we have cardamoms, we have bay leaves and we have cinnamon. Very simple uh, recipe this. This is a traditional. Oh, this is Max. He's ready to cook as well. He's going to be my assistant today. Anyway, in a saucepan, get some uh, ghee, about 90 grams of uh, ghee. I'm going to use ghee today, not oil, to give it maximum flavor. And uh, what we're going to do is first put in our uh, cardamom pods, uh, bay leaves, and uh, cinnamon and also our cloves but we won't need all this uh, bay leaf so we put a couple aside uh, and put this into the ghee in a hot ghee so it infuses in uh, the ghee and uh, gives the ghee a nice flavor as well so just give that a little stir and let that kind of infuse gently now mutton curry is probably uh, like I said my favorite curry it's uh, uh, very easy to cook uh, and uh, very tasty as well. Uh, give this a try. You won't be disappointed. If you don't like mutton, you can use lamb. I've used mutton on the, the bone, which I think uh, gives much more flavor. So uh, try it on the bone. It is nicer than uh, just lean meat. And uh, so give it a few minutes while uh, the oil is uh, kind of infusing the, those uh, spices then we're going to put in our onion what we're going to do this time we're going to uh, cook the onions gently until they're golden brown this will give a nice depth of flavor to our onions uh, and but you have to keep on stirring otherwise it will burn so uh, for the next five minutes carry on uh, stirring the onion gently and just let them fry until they're nice golden brown. I've just speeded it up for you so you can uh, see what I mean but keep on stirring it uh, while you uh, uh, get it ready for the meat. Uh, you, at this stage while it's uh, uh, cooking you can get your meat ready and get it washed and everything uh, so it's uh, ready to go in after about five minutes. As you can see it's starting to brown now. Uh, we don't want it too brown we just want it kind of uh, where you see the onions all changed color and then what we're going to do is basically add our meat but make sure the meat is nicely washed as well before you put the meat in uh, just like this see the onions are just going nicely brown and this is perfect now we're going to just add, add our meat after we've uh, added our meat we're going to keep on stirring this and let the meat kind of fry in the ghee as well. Uh, this process will take uh, about five minutes uh, by doing this before uh, we add our water. But there's a few more things I need to add to this. And uh, first is going to be the garlic and ginger paste. Uh, well, it's not a paste. I've grated the garlic and ginger, as you can see. Uh, I've used 50% uh, uh, garlic, 50% ginger, and uh, just grated it and add that to the mix as well. So just keep on stirring. The key is uh, keep an eye on it at this stage uh, so nothing burns. We don't want any burnt flavours in now, uh, mutton curry. So this is the salt going in now. Uh, just add that salt in. This is a really uh, lovely curry, uh, mutton curry. Uh, I used to cook this uh, near enough uh, every evening in the restaurant as well uh, as a staff curry for the, my guys to eat after they finish work. And uh, you can uh, cook it in advance and uh, then just leave it and then when we're ready to eat we can just eat and this was a really nice curry. I used to buy a whole uh, sheet 
uh, when uh, I used to go to the butcher for my star, and that would last him a couple of weeks. And uh, we would uh, make a mutton curry in the evening, uh, sometimes chicken as well. Uh, add your, your green chilies. I've uh, sliced them up, about four of them here, and basically just frying them in now. And uh, we used to uh, have a mutton curry one night, and we used to have a chicken curry another night. But during the daytime, we used to have uh, fish curry as well, or vegetable or lentils. So we used to get our uh, balance of vegetables, meats and uh, fish and so on. So uh, it's very important that when you do eat curries that you do eat uh, your vegetables as well. And if you uh, uh, don't like vegetables, try adding some vegetables in with your curry. You can add any vegetable with uh, the curry and you'll be surprised it gives it a different flavour completely. Just to show you what I mean, I'm going to add some vegetables to this curry as well. You can add any vegetable uh, you wish, potatoes, uh, beans, uh, carrots, cauliflower and so on. So uh, when I uh, add the vegetables, you'll see what I mean and uh, basically you can add it to if you uh, want some vegetables with it. So keep on uh, stirring uh, before we add uh, the water. I'm going to add a, a cup of boiling hot water as you can see. Uh, don't put cold water, we don't want to slow the process of cooking down. So we're going to add uh, boiling hot water, uh, one cup full and then basically uh, turn it down and let it simmer for 15 minutes. If you want the meat more tender you can increase the time by another 10 to 15 minutes. During the 15 minutes of cooking time, you need to, uh, uh, every 15 minutes, uh, just uh, give it a good stir to ma make sure that it's not sticking to the bottom at all. Uh, and this uh, will also make sure that you break the onions down as well. Anyway, after 15 minutes, uh, your oil should appear, as you can see. What you see on the top is coriander, what I've thrown in about 10 minutes before and that uh, will uh, also break down and give the gravy a nice uh, taste. So as you can see everything's broken down and we've come back to the oil stage uh, of our curry so now we're going to add our spices. We're going to use uh, six different spices here. We've got some garam masala what I've put in, turmeric uh, just going in now and uh, we have some cumin, some paprika, some chili powder and some coriander. That's all our spices going in. Give that a good stir. Now what we're going to do in, in the next uh, three or four minutes is just uh, fry the spices in the oil as you can see. This will really give this dish a really nice flavour. So we will keep on just frying the spices and stirring it. Be careful at this stage, it can quickly burn. So make sure it's not too hot and just keep stirring and uh, frying the spices. If we had smelly vision, you would know what I mean. You can really get the aromas coming. I'm gonna put some beans and some potatoes in this curry. Uh, like I said, you can put any vegetable you like. The, just put your favourite vegetable. Now vegetables normally take uh, 15 to 20 minutes. So once you've uh, put your vegetables, you shouldn't cook it no more than uh, 15, 20 minutes maximum after you've added the water. Now what I'm doing is just uh, breaking it down with the vegetables. Now we're going to put water. I'm going to put about two and a half cups of water just above the uh, meat as you can see and give that a really good stir uh, and let it come to the boil and then we're going to turn this down and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And that's it. The curry is uh, basically done. Uh, after 20 minutes it's ready for you to eat and enjoy. And um, this is my mutton uh, curry. It's very nice. Uh, if you uh, never tried mutton, uh, please try it because 
Why uh, I say this is because mutton is much tougher meat, it takes longer to cook and it gives it a lot more flavour, in depth flavour. So uh, you can make this with uh, lamb if you wish, just cook it a little bit less, not 50 minutes. Uh, and there you go, that's my mutton curry. Enjoy this dish and uh, please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel and uh, tell all your friends so they too can enjoy it. So thanks for watching and goodbye and uh, see you soon on my next video.